there, it's Vicki McCarthy. Today I have a card that was inspired by one of my team members, Maho Sato. Thank you very much, Maho, for the inspiration for this card. And I'm going to show you how I made it now. You'll need the Festive Flurry Framelits dies, and you can get this in a bundle and save 15% with the stamps that match. I'm using some similar, sil sorry, silver glimmer paper, Island Indigo Whisper White, and the Boho Blossoms Punch. You're going to use some sparkle with the rhinestones, some silver foil paper, which I've cut a quarter of an inch smaller all the way around. Then I'm layering that with some of the designer series paper. And I've used a stamp inside, which comes from the Petite Pears. So this is the Petite Pears stamp set. And I'm using Merry Christmas on the outside and a happy, joyful, bright new year on the inside. So here's the Merry Christmas. I'm just punching that out with the modern label punch. I have some Island Indigo cardstock, which I've popped into the Delicate Designs embossing folder. You can see it here on page 190 of the catalogue. And I'm going to use my Tombow multi-adhesive to just adhere the Designer Series paper to that foil sheet. And again, this is a quarter of an inch all the way around, smaller than the silver piece, just to give it a nice frame. Now I'm adding the embossed image, and I'm actually going to cut that to size now because you'll find it shrinks a little bit once you emboss it. I'm using the debossed side, and I'm adhering it again with some Tombow Multi Glue. Now I'm using some of the brads that are the very small silver brads popping them through the ends of that modern label punched piece. And now I'm going to line everything up and start putting dimensionals on all those layers. First the Boho Blossoms piece in the silver glimmer paper, um, layering that onto the white paper with the Island Indigo ink stamped on. Now putting it back onto the framelit on the silver glimmer paper three dimensionals on the back, position that where you want it on your card and now popping up the message as well. And final bling added with one of the rhinestones in the centre. So there's the card finished. Goes together really fast. I hope you enjoyed that card. And I made this card to coordinate with my Christmas frame that I made, which is one of my earlier videos. So you might need to look back and find that project. It was the Christmas shadow box frame and this card matches it. Thanks for joining me.